This video will walk you through the process of getting your Perl Mallet Station up and running with the Mallet Station Editor software. The first step is to go to PerlMalletStation.com, which is going to redirect you to our PerlElectronicSupport.com site. Once here, click on Downloads, and we are going to scroll down to Mallet Station Editor software. There are three options. We have a Mac OS X editor, a Windows editor, and also a web-based editor that must be used in Google Chrome, Opera, or Brave. So I'm going to click that editor. And the first thing that's gonna happen is Google Chrome is going to ask if it can use our MIDI devices. This is what it needs to do to communicate with the mount station. So click allow. And at this point, you'll notice that it auto populates with all the information in my mallet station. So the first thing I'm going to do is talk you through step by step what these different boxes and areas of the user interface do. So up at the top left, we have our preset section. The presets are what are going to allow us to save four internal presets to the mount station. So that can be a combination of all of my different settings. And then I can also have an unlimited number of user presets that are accessible from the editor itself. The next section is this bars and caps section. So in the bars and caps section, that allows us to change our zones, change our splits, and also change the MIDI channel number per those zones and splits. I can also set the low note, and I can also change an octave throughout that. I can also use this to enable our gap caps to send on any MIDI note or MIDI channel through that. The buttons and fader section over here on the right is going to be where we go to adjust any of the buttons or faders on the instrument. We can change between the default of note numbers on channel 10 to any other combination of program changes, bank select, or CC numbers. Our faders have the ability to change between pitch bend on a different MIDI channel or a CC number on a different MIDI channel that are all configurable per fader. Down on the left, we have our playability section. This is where you're going to have the ability to adjust the sensitivity of the instrument, change the play mode between dampening and aftertouch, change our note duration, as well as the dampening threshold that changes between a regular note and a dampen. Globals is gonna be where we adjust all of the settings that affect the entire instrument no matter what preset you're on, such as per bar gain. What per bar gain is, is it allows you to even out the instrument if there's any notes that are a little bit hotter or a little bit softer, you can actually even that out at any point. The velocity curves allows you to set a user curve to allow the mallet station to respond how you want. The pedal section over here allows us to change between different versions of the way that sustain is handled on the instrument. So the sustain pedal can be set to internal sustain, which is what activates our dampening mode on the instrument, or it can do an external sustain as well, which uses our CC64 message. You can also change it to any other CC on any other channel as well. Same with the switch pedal, and the expression pedal can be set to any CC number on any channel. We also have our preferences. In our preferences, this allows us to look at the version number for the editor as well as the version number for the firmware on the mallet station. We can also do some things with the editor like turn on the UI sync, turn off the tooltips, and also auto hide our slider handles. We can also use this preferences window to export our user presets, change our crosstalk, or update our firmware on our mallet station. This has been a brief look at the basic usage of the mallet station editor software available for Google Chrome, Mac, and PC. Thank you for watching.